Welcome everybody to our second match in this best of three for the East Portals Earth for their Earth. final qualifier numero four. We have the Balkan Bears versus Scary Faces. Scary Faces just took the first game out of this best of three. And uh, let's see if they can do this again. And so far they have the same heroes as before. They have a Shadow Demon and a Lash Wreck. Last game, very successful with it. Early game ganking. They didn't exactly go as they planned, but with their own lane though, it worked out heavily in their own favor. And they got really Five just a lane. lot of kills. Reserve time. Sorry about that. Just taking a nice old sip of my drink there. And... Uh, we're gonna be uh, looking at the Gyrocopter versus Earthshaker. We didn't see the Gyrocopter uh, previous match, it was a bend out in the first phase. We did see the Earthshaker though. Earthshaker, he got off a couple of great Echo Slams. But in the end, it just wasn't enough to win them the game. And, uh, well, Gyrocopter. Just. Just. This is Gyrocopter, guys. Everybody knows Gyrocopter already. Rocket Barrage. He got a little bit of a nerf, but still strong in level 1 if you let. And it's just. Essentially, just put a little bit more emphasis on leveling up Rocket Barrage because level 4 Rocket Barrage it does still the same damage as it did in the previous patch or previous little patch. And uh, they actually ban out the, uh, the Beastmaster apart from that. That's, uh... Yeah, they had some troubles dealing with that one there. Day 21 played a great Beastmaster, they got a lot of kills with it. A lot of solo kills for him as well with his Necrobook 3 just roaring up, world access, and just start. To let this uh, Echo Book hit away at them. And we'll just. Uh, yeah. Five seconds. <laughs> that is really just a respect ban there as well. On the other side, Gyro is fairly squishy, so once you get Roras off, he can be brought down fairly easily. And they also ban out the, uh, the Shadow Fiend. They were the ones to pick it up last match onto Hook. But Hook says it this time, yeah, we're not gonna play this one, we're gonna go for something else. Yeah, and they will need to because last match it wasn't that close. Carefaces eventually got a pretty big lead, about 14k gold. Same in a little bit less actually in uh, XP, but we were able to get a lead and maintain that essentially. They lost a couple of fires, drops, and it went back up again, but essentially it was always in favor of scary phases in the later part of the game. It was the beginning, actually. But yeah, the. We're gonna see how Scary Face does it now because in the beginning from the last match, though, Shadow Demon and Dashback they did miss the combo a little bit. A couple of times. But, uh, later on, they really got used to it and I think they only. They didn't miss anything in the later part of the match so far now. With Scary Faces, they're bending out the uh, Witch Doctor and the Phoenix for now. Phoenix, yeah. Means that they're not really going for right or fast right clickers at the moment and they just don't want to do with something. As him, strong hero, and as well, if you try to push into a tower, just pop your egg a little bit behind your tower and force them to either dive underneath the tower further or get them to, uh, well, back off of your tower essentially. And also, with the uh, Wind at your service. With of course, the fibers can just slow down your push as well. And scary phases, they're gonna get the Wind Ranger for themselves now. It's saw how successful. Miracle actually was with the last game, it did do a lot for them. And they're gonna pick it up for themselves right now. This is just, uh, yeah, I re personally I just like it. That hero can just bring out so much single target DPS that it can blow up pretty much anybody. Like a gyrocopter, once it gets caught out, it is the end for him. He needs to get like fissures or anything, he, he just needs to be saved instantly. We'll see what they're gonna be. Uh, Trying to get against this because with the wind run as well, it's kind of hard to hit him. A little bit. <laughs> and yeah, well, Oaken Bears, but they're they still they still need it quite a lot. We're, let's say Gyro is not going to be run as uh, support anymore. They're going to pick up the uh, the Jeff Sword on the Clockwork again. He played a pretty solid last match, though it didn't really matter that much. And they, uh, their faces, they answer back with a lot of mines armor there. They get the, uh, the amplified damage of slaughter there. Oh, you're gonna melt. 
Clockwork is fairly tanky. Air checker, yeah, but he doesn't really want to fight versus you and the yeah, Jazz Slaughter. Yeah, they can really blow up the Gyro right now. This physical damage coming out of uh, Scary Phase is already really, really big. And this, yeah. We're gonna see what they're gonna do against it because so far it seems like Scary Phase is gonna go an aggressive Thry Lane again with uh, Safe Lane farming uh, Wind Ranger. And then just, you know, do the Disrupt into Splayed Earth into Crush combo. And essentially, uh, the first levels you're gonna die. Your Shaker is not enough to really save you from death. You can buy a little bit of time, but I hope this will be enough. Yeah, yeah, what's Balkan Bear is gonna uh, respond to this? They need, uh, yeah. Let's say they need a support and an off laner for now. Board wise, they're gonna go for an AA. It's all gonna go over them. AA just good. Uh, stop the enemy pushes as well with the Bless there. Want to try to push in with the Wind Ranger, Lash Rectro, and Ice Bless. You know, it will force them to back off, reset. Or you can just go and initiate on them. After that with the hook shot. The other way around, you can also go with the global a little bit more. Have uh, Jab Sword and the Clockwork. Going around the map, finding pickoffs, and just send the AA Bless to where he's hooking onto. With that, you can get so many uh, kills, yeah. And for everybody to answer the, the question again about score, Scary Phases is currently in the lead with 1 2 0 versus the Balkan Bears in this East Portal qualifier number 4. Open qualifier, I must actually say as well. And I just something here as well. Whoopsie, I'm gonna put the, uh, the eSport logo back on once we're in the match. I'm sorry about that. Whoopsie. Yeah, and we're gonna... What are gonna be picking up next here for the Balkan Bears? I need to ban out something first. Scary Fates is bent out the remain. puck. They don't want him in middle. They don't really, neither of them really have their... And middles yet because I'm not gonna I'm just gonna assume that Wind Razor is not gonna go middle. He could be. It's it's doubtful. Does she essentially really wanna run a miss maybe in the safe lane? Versus the clockwork. Should be able to get a lot of farm. Clockwork also able to get what it needs as well from it, but Yeah. They have 15 more seconds left for their ban. They're gonna ban out the Nature's Prophet. They're gonna go against uh, the split push. Uh, they just don't want to get uh, too much of the split push going the way of scary phases. Though I doubt they would have picked it up because with the clockwork and the AA, you can actually deal quite effectively with the Nature Prophet. And yeah, it was gonna do. So they also need the middle here. Hope to get hmm. five seconds There's so many pickers. Essentially, they can even get, go for a five or early mecha and just then start pushing down time. towers or something along those lines. The DK is also still open to go into a little bit more of a pushy threat type. They can even do something out of the box. Hey, they will. They will go with the clings here. Team yeah, the the AA needs to look out. This was a gyro actually. If the clings get a good start, it gets a nice. For the Orchid, then the Gyra as well as the uh, AA will just melt it down once or so. And we saw Resolution, his, uh, I mean Silent, his M from Empire, of course, his, uh, his clings the other day. Completely destroying face, so we'll see if he can uh, do this one again. And we'll... Balkan Bears, what are gonna answer against it? Scary phases do have a pretty strong lineup there in the Balkan Bears. They don't have a clear thing there, but they're gonna end it up with a Magnus. Yeah, now they actually have quite big team fight here. They have the Wombo combo effect. Really, they do. Magnus RP into Cauldon, into Earthshaker, Dunk, Echo Slam, and then you get a nice. Ice Blast to finish it all off, and then Jepster can just stand on the side, because if you essentially catch everybody with that, it means they were all dead. That is tough to deal with. 
Cool. Sorry, we're wrecking a rock love frog, but I'm not gonna pause this game for you. You just have to go to the toilet real fast. Still waiting for the last one to pick their heroes and then we'll go into the game. So far, I want to remind you again, Scary Phases is the one in the lead. And I'm guessing this, I'm uh, Sander, I'm from the Swiss CC and Rasmus TV. I'm standing in here for uh, the other catchers. Because uh, it is an open slot and uh, I was able to fill this one in. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my casting. If you don't, I'll be reading a little bit on the chats here. And uh, yeah, just uh, send me a message, uh, I guess, on uh, on, twi on Twitter as well. At Madness Casting, just send me uh, something there. If you have any tips, constructive feedback, it's all fine. I might read them. Who knows? And we're now into the game. We get the, the same old uh, powers here. Oh, like always, we have Gyrocopter. Let's just go over the team. Let's transition it smoothly. We have Miracle playing. Uh, no, we have play. Oh, holy shit, what's wrong with me today? Oh, yeah, yeah. We have Miracle playing the Gyrocopter for Balkan Bears on the die. We have Ari playing the uh, Ancient Appreciation. We have the Coon playing Clockwork. We have Hook playing Magnus now. This means that Jepser is going to be playing the Earthshaker. Okay, they have stand in Coon here. He's from, uh, he's from here. Okay, <laughs> see how this goes then. We have Shadow playing uh, the Lash Rack here for scary phases on the Radiant. We have Ramses playing the Slaughter. We have Agnar playing the uh, Shadow Demon again. We have Klinks played by Quinta on the save lane. And that means we're going to have a mid lane Wind Ranger with State 21 playing her. And they see Jepster here, but are they able to get off the disruption or anything here? No, Jepster is a little bit too fast there with his boots already. Say 21, his smoke is gonna get refilled. No, he's not. He's still unshown, but he's not able to get anything. I don't think they're gonna cut. Bear is gonna contest his top run, though. Who might want to get the one here on bot? If he gets it, it's pretty much his, uh, his bottle soon. Box out there, keeping Quinta away, and yeah, this is gonna be the bot rune for top rune trade off here. Say 21 on the wind range, he will try to bully out Hook here, but Hook, he is gonna get uh, a pretty fast bottle here. And does he have. He's gonna get. Uh, okay, he's gonna get some uh, tangos his way here. They know there is an observer reward here from the. Uh, on Balkan Bears, they might try to play around this one. Otherwise, they would have rewarded it. Do they have any kind of smokes here? They don't. Egnard, he's hiding here in the tree lane. At a side shop. He just wants to get somebody here. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna walk in. Disrupt? No. Just out of range, yeah. And now Miracle. Yeah, now, now they notice. They just departed it. Shoot. Every Jepster staying behind Miracle. They just want to save him if, uh, if they need to. There's going to be a disruption. Fissure. Yes, keeps them out. But Miracle, he's still stuck. He's still going to take a spill here. He can't get out. He's blocked in by the Lucius and the Fissure there. The Fissure not helping him out at all, actually. And that's Rams that's taking the first blood. Oh, good job there for scary faces. Uh, but Miracle, they used to able to just TP in straight in again. So the... Uh, they weren't really able to do a lot of counter damage there with uh, with the chilling touch. Boon. Getting a rest out a little bit here by Quinta. Quinta doesn't have... Quinta, I mean of course, doesn't have any mana left. That's actually quite troublesome, so he might be picking up his Basilius next. Just to get a little bit more regeneration going his way. And yeah, this is Luke. Welcome Bears. They, they don't want to walk in here. They're really scared. And look at this. They're going to go in onto him again. Is you going to be cancelled? Oh! Miracle still called out. Fissure is now being put out, but is he able to survive from this? They need a couple more less hits. They need two, but no, not gonna work. Yep, sure. Able to save Miracle there with the Fissure, but still, it was really close. Yeah. Day 21. This was he able to get a rune there? Yeah, he was. Okay. I was wondering if Arby might have been able to contest him there and take it away, but level one <laughs> Asian appreciation is not gonna work versus a level four uh, Wind Ranger. 
Uh, so far I bought, yeah, actually the Kuhn is doing pretty damn fine, he has a little bit more or less hits than the uh, Quista. Quista is out of uh, mana, the Kuhn just keeps on walking up to him, or the cocks into the face there. Yeah, this is just, uh, both of them are very much just harassing a little bit, but they shouldn't be able to get any kills there. And oh no, Miracle, he is found again, Soulcatcher as well, but now the Fisher stops him from casting Split Earth, and now it's just completely off the mark, and uh, let's go back to farming again on the side of SFC. Yeah, this is gonna... Uh, yeah. The consumables on the side of Balkan Bears. Well, they're flying through it right now. They need to start buying some more again, or... Need to start making the... Trade back to the well to regenerate if they don't want to. And, okay, it's actually gonna be the... Uh, the Soul Ring on Klings. He has to go that way. Pretty nice at level 6. It pretty much just means that you can always use your Dark Pact. Day 21, how is he doing here in middle versus the Coon? Well, so far he's winning his lane. Pretty comfortable. Well, okay, yes, the Coon is able to get some less hits as well. A couple of denies, but uh, Day 21 so far is in the lead there. But pretty much is what you were expecting there for, from a uh, range versus melee. Although, Hook, of course, he can spam out his Zero Quake, but still. He's essentially. Uh, Still melee versus range and Miracle. He's not having his uh, a good time here. Just seven less hits versus the 18 on Ramses. Was the one first blood there. And the multiple well, running around things from before the gyrocopter there. Boon, he's actually fairly low. Christian might pop his, uh, his soul ring to kill him off if he comes back into the, into the lane here. Luke, Ramby at stage 21, he might be looking at, yeah, he's gonna get his boots as well as his uh, magic wand here. Another fissure there, was there a disruption? Doesn't seem to be. A little bit of an aggression coming out there from BB, maybe try to get a counter kill for them, but... Didn't work out, didn't work out. A miracle, well... Yeah, he's still just 8 less hits left. About the same amount as uh, <laughs> Rambus as has been able to uh, deny from him. Yeah, this defensive twilight from BB is pretty hard to bulk and bears are lagging behind a little bit here. So far, they're not winning any of their lanes. So, both is to be expected. Mid also, but hope, yeah. And because of that, they're not really gaining their levels either. What is it? Already level 3 on uh, Agnard. Level 3, almost level 4 on Shadow already. Ramses is also already level 4 versus a level 3 Gyrocopter. A uh, level 3 Air Checker as well, and only a level 2 AA appreciation there. It's, it's tough, man. It's tough there. Hook, he got level. He's level 6 though. He's a little bit of bullet growing right now. He has his, uh, his RP up there. But I don't think he can solo kill uh, Dave here, that's a little bit... Uh, yeah, that's just asking a little bit too much. Level 7 on the Klings now. And the Kuhn, he's forced back. He has level 6, so he's just gonna look to rotate either middle or top. And I would say that they might have to rotate in a couple more to top, because... This lane is just not going their way at all of BB, and... They need to do something, they need to get Miracle some space to farm it up. He just has his boots and a rave band. It's, it's not a lot. And Ari, he was sent to bot. And oh no, they're gonna go for a bot kill here. But they actually missed the hook shot here on Quista. And he can just run out right now. That was just the first way. That was just uh, the first hook shot of the game. And it was essentially just wasted hitting the creeps. Maybe a little bit over eager there. The Kuni he is sleeping into her stop. But it's already too late. He already lost Miracle. Still gonna get Ramses though. So. Oh. Spitter. He has no RP for you. Hook so far. Ramses. He's able to get off the max range. Brush there as well. Fissure onto Ramses. Do they have enough to kill him off? They need a shockwave. Yeah, there you go. They're gonna kill him off there. Hook. He got a little bit of poison onto him. And the lightning there. I'm sure he's gonna kill him off. Jabsor. He's gonna get wrapped around by state. 21 here, but he's taking a lot of damage here from the Rocket Barrage, still fairly strong. Rocket's gonna hit him as well, and now he's just... Yeah, he's gonna die from Miracle, another Rocket Barrage as well. 
maybe not worth it to trade his life there for the Earthshaker. Two for two trades so far. Oh, three for two actually. Going the way of uh, scary phases. Though it isn't the biggest uh, change there due to the fact that they lost a uh, core. There as well. And Miracle. Well, this might change it a lot. Yeah, that Fissure is just too late. Agnard is still able to survive as well. And just another kill going away there. Bashwreck picks it up. He's gonna die though. Hookshot there. That, well in place. Kills him off. And now he's looking for Ramses. But Ramses is faster. There we go. No, oh, a nice killing spree going the way of uh, the coon there. So we must notice this, of course. Hook, he doesn't have the mortal item for Magnus here. Incredible set. Just not see that. I uh, like the item. Looks really cool. Oh, ho, DD on clings. He finds Hook. And Hook is dead. Oh, with a power shot there. And that power shot. Well played there. State 21 picking up the kill there. Oh, that was just perfect. And now Hook. Back to base. I'm just start farming it up again. Uh, it's just tough for him. He's not even close towards his blink dagger. Or oh, actually, he's about the same as. Uh, as a slaughter is, but yeah, he needs to start getting it fairly soon. The goon, day 21 runs into him, taking a lot of damage from the battery assault here. Fissure is there as well, and that is just gonna be the death of him. The goon picking that one up off the mean well at top. Miracle dies again, and Lashrak picks it up against Shadow. Whew, it's already four deaths on the side of Miracle, and he is not having his game here on the uh, gyrocopter. Oh, he's notorious to really be strong in the early game, though being squishy, he's just being overrun because of that. Hook taking away a little bit of the farm here from uh, the coon. He wants to get his blink dagger there. Rems has 1.2k off of it. Harry, he's, he's getting close towards his, uh, his level 6, but not with the quest I hear, he's looking for him. And oh no, top. Oh no, SFC, you just got caught out there. Do that. Do the supports though, only. Could have been worse, but. Sorry guys for missing that 1200 gold swing together with a K uh, experience there as well. Rems as he walks in, just gets off a casual uh, amplified damage there for a little bit more vision. Well, of course, on the bot, as I said before, Chris is gonna look for Ari and he's gonna get him. Kills him off there. So look, he'll going his way, and we're gonna assume he's gonna build up. Where's an orchid first? He might even opt to build a uh, buy this if he needs to. But she cured in the late game. Very hard. Since they're so far, yeah, they're already 3k ahead on both gold and well, the 2k on XP. Yeah, and they're just gonna run away. Do they even have the texture right now? Airy, okay, he has some dust. Hook, he got dust as well. Jepsor, he got smoke. That doesn't really work. And that's essentially all to it for now. Yes, I indeed said ancient appreciation because I appreciate the ancient there. I just like the hero. But yeah, you're correct. I do indeed say that. But I do know also how to call it. <laughs> it's just what I like to call it there. I should maybe explain that. Shadow Demon, he's... What are they gonna be building up here? Well, they just... Pop a smoke here, they're gonna look for something aggressive here with... Uh, maybe with Ramses, but... Going into the jungle here might prove a little bit too tough. Because they're gonna get counter-initiated on that. They might just try to get this tier 1 tower here, but... Welcomers, are they going to be in position to defend? No, it's just Jepsor! If you see that's just Jepsor, they're gonna go on him. Yes, they see it, they ping him out, they start running in. Burge onto him. Soul catcher. No, split off is gonna be off the mark due to the fissure. Maybe they should have used the <coughs> disruption there as well. Jarbo, he's still lacking behind Fireball. Top three of Never still going the way of SFC. So. There we go, the first blink dagger of the game is for Ramses. So now we're gonna see some aggressive plays here. No reason to keep it hidden too long. 
But yeah, the Balkan Bears are already moving into position towards top. Hook. Do they really want to defend it? So that's the question. Because Hook is just 200 gold off his blink. He wants his blink. He doesn't want to fight without it just yet. They ping out that they want to defend this. They're going to use the fortification fairly early. They're moving in three heroes versus the four of SFC here. Clockwork has a hook shot ready. Rocket in first, he's ready, or they're gonna go on stage 21, there's gonna be the AMS flying as well, call down is used as well, and there's gonna be a dead, well, it's actually not gonna be a disruption, stage, stage 21, but it doesn't really matter because there is Miracle, killing him off, and they also get the deny there, and there are no trays really inside so far for SFC. Krista, he was farming it up a little bit, and he's gonna go mid for Hammer, so we're either gonna see a Desolator, Milstrom, or maybe a BKB. Milstrom is the uh, least likely in my eyes to be picked up, so I'm uh, gonna assume a, uh, a nice old Desolator there. Or maybe a uh, <coughs> BKB. Magic. Nice, I love water. <laughs> Ramses. So far he's looking fine, he's still ahead of Miracle by about a K or so. Mid laners, they're a little bit closer, it's really just the uh, the solo uh, laners that is the biggest difference right now between the, the Clockwork and the Klings here. It's gonna be the Desolator, he already got his double mi Mithril Hammers here. A little bit greedy, so he really needs to make sure that he uses his deck death pack before uh, fighting. Because he needs, really needs that extra HP there to not die to the combi. Of BB, and even then he might still die because the magic damage from the uh, Balkan Bears is real, very real. Depsor, one K off. There's Blink Dagger to this miracle. He is trying to either get a Yesha or maybe an HOD. We'll see if he finishes which one he will finish off first. Day 21, he's gonna go and rush an Aghanims here. And they find who. Because he, he just can't follow it up. They just have him well, locked down. He's gonna go to the high ground though. He still dies there. Is this AA Bless gonna hit them? Yes, he's gonna hit Ramses. Ramses, he needs to get disrupted and might still die after this. There you go. Shattered. Still going the way of uh, Ramses. Sir. I mean, of Ari and however, on the other side, Krista does kill him off. Darrow, he also gets killed there by the Wind Ranger. Day 21, he finds Jepster. Yes, him. Shaggle up versus the creep. There's gonna be the follow split up. But Jepsor, is he gonna die versus the urn? Yes, he is. Now they're just maybe gonna try and split push a little bit. Full lane is gonna get pushed in by Quista. He has his Desolator, so he's just wrecks the tower here. And that's another tower down. State 21, he's gonna give up in the middle. He doesn't want to get. Uh, Initiated on and then die with his team not being too close at the moment. And Quista, he is stacked right now, 7.8k. I do think he will be looking at the, the BKB next. Might have been a little bit too early instead of the, uh, the Midas, but now pretty strong pickup. He needs something to survive. And there you go. They're gonna go and rush now. They have minus armor apart from amplified damage. They don't, but amplified damage is more than enough. And well, actually, of course, that's the decimator. Just look at it. Minus 13 armor on the rush, and he's just dropping here. That's gonna be a death rush. They're not gonna. Oh, Fisher is dead, but it's a little bit too late. It does catch out state 21 as well as Quista on the other side, but they don't really have a way to in initiate on this because, well, potentially Hook and Miracle are not in the vicinity. Oh. Harry, you got the turn. Gonna go an AA blast middle. Oh, I'm gonna keep on annoying them, make sure that uh, Ramses, you know, can't blink. Day 21, he's still, he's fairly low. He needs his region rune and we'll be able to get it. And now they're rotating top. They want Miracle again. Miracle, however, does spot this rotation uh, out with his gaming senses there. And he's gonna build towards a. Uh, Yes, yeah, first. There's a casual morbid mess for now. I don't really mi mind that, honestly, just for the sole reason that even if he gets an HOD, it's not like 
his uh, stacks are not gonna get stolen or spotted for that matter so it's not something that he can go for even his own jungle is really just look around for questa if he wants to run there yeah there we go nice wreck he already got his four stuff great pickup versus clockwork of course we have yeah we have the agonims now done on state 21 as well so if he catches you now, nice shaker shot into uh, his ultimate wall, you're gonna just, uh, just, just die there. Oh man, that focus fire is just gonna do a lot of work now. We'll see if it goes into BKB Millstrom or a nice old crit stick. And there we go. We're gonna start pushing in this top lane right now after some nice brawlings on the map. Twista is gonna be in the front lines with the... Uh, but <laughs> the Aegis and the Desolator and all this minus armor, this tower is just gonna take a spill without BB being able to defend this. They're not in position yet. They do smoke up now. And maybe they wanna see if they can catch them off guard when they try to go for the high ground. There's gonna be a ward out there. No, it's just a sentry for both sides. Questa. Oh no, blink in aggressively from Ramses. Hookshot there. I found Questa and Ramses is able to run out for now. Vizier and the Cox keeping everybody pretty much on their own side. Amplify damage out on Hook. Yeah, this is gonna be hard to get over good RP now because they will just know wherever he is. Day 21, walking very aggressively here. It's a Vizier into the face, Cure back. No. They go cool down. And yeah, scary faces is they're just gonna look and reset this fight. And here we go, another tier 2 tower, who's likely going to be falling. They are a little bit better in position right now, the Kuhn is walking in front, he activates his blade, but he's just not focusing him. Tower is already down, now to focus him and he's gonna die here. Nice, hey, hey bless though, killing off two, hook, he misses his skewer. RP, no, disruption is there. Oh man, he's surrounded by three right now. He's getting lightning storm, or lightning onto his face. Oh my god, this Shaku shot splitter from Miracle as well. He's dead here as well, this is three men down already. Is Eri, are they able to get this uh, career here? No, they're not, the micro is there. And now Eri is gonna take a fall of well, four men down, and now they can just start to push into the high ground already. Questa still has his Aegis. Oh, Focus Fire is gonna come out there. This is gonna kill off the, the creeps first, and this, yeah, man. Honestly, he said, this DD of Sage Wick one also did a lot of work, and this is just gonna be the first Rex going the way of Scary Face already. Oh. Shadow, he gets a fissure, but they're not gonna follow up on this. Do they have to blink? They're actually on Jepsor already. They still don't. Still 300 gold off. Oh no, they find the Kun. He's caught out here. He doesn't have anything, any way to get out. He, no, well, he does. His friends does. They have a four step there. But yeah, the fissure is still there to kill him off. Still nice play there from the last break with the four step. Didn't matter in the end, but just, you know, wasting a little bit more time is always good. But yeah, this is a heavy blow for Balkan Bears in the second game already. They're down one match and they just lost their mid Rex. And SFC, they're looking strong. 14k ahead on gold already. 21 minutes in. It's about 750 gold a minute. They're in the 10k in XP as well. Going a little bit down now, but should be going go up a little bit more. But yeah, so far this match is really just in the in SFC favor. Look at this, they already have four of the <laughs> four of the top of the net worth are of SFC. Even the support Leshrak, he is pretty far already. He has a glimmer cape as well as a four staff. He's just able to save anybody. Ramses, oh well, you know being a slaughter your your farm is always gonna be slowed down a little bit but they have stage 21 on the, the wind range just make up for that. He's okay he's actually gonna go BKB first. And they have also Quisto who's just doing a lot of DPS here. He also finished off a, uh, a Flame Miss Offering here. Helps out his team, damage, armor, everything. Also lifesteal for him, as well as for the Wind Ranger. Ramses also, but the question is how much is Ramses gonna get off because he will be focused on fairly heavily since he's on the front lines. We need to see this. They need to get the Wombo combo here on Balkan Bears. Or it might be the end. Chiquista. They blink in. They want state 21. 
They're gonna screw him out of the call down here. They're gonna use the... Uh... Oh man, this is not going too well. They did use the RP, but it didn't do anything at all because Miracle is gonna take the fall. Hook is gonna take the fall. And there, the Kuhn is gonna take the fall. AFLS history. Oh, ho, ho, the Dago Slam is there. Ignard. Low HP. Glimmer Cape will save him. For now, is it gonna be enough? No, it's, it is. It is. And this GG. This is Scary Faces winning their second match in this best of three going to the. Well, the Navy Finals with this. Whoa. Well, guys. Well played to Scary Faces taking this best of three in a 2 0 versus Balkan Bears. They were the, they were the favorites. Uh, on well on D2L so it's in that uh, regard they are well things ended as it should have been and uh, well that is gonna be it for me for now I'm gonna be signing out and yeah guys uh, have fun watching all the other esport matches here I was uh, Sander I'm a caster of uh, Swiss CC as well as Rasmus TV hope to see you guys all again soon till then.